Mammals are a truly unique and diverse group of animals. They are the most complex organisms on the planet. They are the dominant species. They manage to rule the land, water and the skies. But mammals are the last surviving members of a diverse group called the synapsids. And this is their story. Our story begins long before the dinosaurs, 280 million years ago to be precisely. It was the time known as the Permian period. Uh, the, there were no continents because all the land was combined into the one big supercontinent called Pangaea. The, most of Pangaea were, was covered by deserts with occasional swamps. For a long time, Pangaea was ruled by uh, primitive reptiles with only one type of teeth in their jaws. But recently, there appeared a new group of, an of animals. Once, uh, there were once, scientists once called them mammal-like reptiles. But now we know that they are not reptiles. They have really specialized features, like different types of teeth in their mouths, like canine teeth and molars, used for different purposes. Uh, to be precisely all of them are used either uh, as for food, but also can also be used in combat. Um, they also had warm blooded metabolism. They did not have scales, reptilian scales, but soft elephant like skin with, uh, with no hair. In the, in the swamps, they were, they were called the synapsids. One of the largest synapsids at the time lived in swamps. It was called Adaphosaurus. Adaphosaurus was one of the largest uh, creature at uh, these creatures at the time, but but it was a vegetarian, peaceful vegetarian that fed on plants. But there was a, there was his closest living relative is one of the most famous prehistoric animals of all time. His closest his relative also hunted and killed them. It was called the Dimetrodon. The Dimetrodon is one of the most famous prehistoric animals. It's often de depicted alongside the dinosaurs, but it was not a dinosaur. Hell, dinosaurs uh, haven't even evolved yet. It was, it is actually a um, synapsid, primitive synapsid. Sy uh, Dimetrodon is actually more closely related to humans than it does to dinosaurs. Uh, they had the Daphosaurus uh, the, and uh, Dimetrodon were very different in behavior and diet, but they all have one similar thing: the sail. Their sail was used to regulate the regulate the own body temperature. But soon, the these sailback beasts will begun be extinct, man, making making others the my members of a group to thrive. Now we are 252 million years in the past. The droughts and climate change turned the, the, the whole Pangi, Pangi, Pangaea into uh, into this hot, sandy deserts. Synapsids finally became the dominant species on the planet. They were um, there were now three main groups. First ones are the lystrosaurs. The main characteristic of the lystrosaurs are the tusks which were used for defense. The first, one of the first and the smallest members of a group was the decinodont. The decinodont was, uh, was a certain creature which lived under underground and fed on the roots of plants and had complex social structure. Another group of synapsids were called the gorgonopsids, or aka gorgonopsidea. They were named uh, by uh, they were named by British scientist Sir Richard Owen. Then uh, by uh, and their, the inspiration for their name came from the the monster from Greek mythology called the Gorgona, or as you might know her, Medusa. They were the apex predators of their environment. They were characteristic. The main characteristic was their saber teeth. 
Simmer teeth are currently only known in synapses, and it will evolve independently in the in the next in the next few in in the millions of years to come. The biggest and most dangerous members of the group was the the Gorgonopsid. Another main, most and the most most important group of all of these are the the cynodonts. The cynodonts uh, uh, are a um, very diverse group, and one of the most important members of, us, of a group was the the cynodont. The cynodont is probably the most famous for being that one guy from the that one from the first episode of Walking with Dinosaurs. He has caught the only common prey, a baby Coelophysis. This guy is one of the luckiest organisms that never lived on the planet. Because sadly, 252 million years ago was the one of the worst times to be alive on the entire history of our planet. Because the volcanic of because of volcanic eruptions in Sub, in, in Siberia, yeah, there are a lot of poisonous gases in the air, and uh, which caused the something called the Great Dying. It was the most destructive mass extinction. This extinction was even more destructive than one that one extinction that killed off dinosaurs. In that in Great Dying, 95% of all life on Earth died. It lasted for two million years. This was the end of a of a ancient of the first age of an age of an ancient life, and a new age began, the age of reptiles. The first chapter in the age of reptiles, more scientifically known as the Mesozoic era, was the Triassic. Uh, it started 250 million years ago. Now we are 245 million years in the in the past. The world is currently in a very big mess. Firstly, the the the, the ecological niches once filled by giant by uh, by other animals that died during the Great Dying was empty. In the waters, instead of giant creepy crawlies, we had uh, marine reptiles for, like like nodosaurs. In the air, instead of, of giant bugs, we have flying reptiles, more scientifically known as the pterosaurs. These niches were quickly in, in, uh, conquered, but land was very difficult to challenge. On the land, we have multiple uh, groups. Synapses managed to su uh, survive. Survived, but they were quickly outcompeted by a new group of reptiles called archosaurs. There were currently at the time three main groups: the pterosaurs, which currently ruled the, uh, the air, and the new and the, another new group, the dinosaurs. They, but dinosaurs weren't very big threat because they were small and only limited to small uh, to hunters of small animals. But the, the, the apex, pred apex predators of their environment were with a very diverse group of crocodiles. Crocodiles aren't just uh, limited to watery environments. They left a few million years before Great Dying, but the, but the early Triassic was their time to shine. This, soon, the predators like Saurosuchus and Postosuchus uh, grew larger and became the apex predators of their environment. But Synaptids had one advantage. The numbers. They were still relatively dominant species on the planet, although they were not on the top of the food chain. Uh, one of the lucky survivors of the extinction was a small Lystrosaurid called Lystrosaur. The Lystrosaurus was wasn't very isn't very special for a uh, for a synapsid standard, but it is really important for paleontology. One simple reason is that its fossils have been found all over the world. So this is also one of the proofs for a continental drift, aka the, for the existence of Pangaea and other that stuff. Stuff the synapse the synodonts have not changed that much that much and they will not change the next for next few million that much from next few million years 
but since the number of, of predators is growing, the, the some luster stores decided to grow as well. The, uh, one of the largest members of entire of a group at the time was was a giant Placerias. Placerias was uh, was behemoth at this point and had the, its uh, tusks were larger than any point in time and they were able to pierce from the thick hide of inch of crocodiles but uh, but aside from from cynodonts at the end of the period evolved a new group of animals they were called mammals they were covered in hair and fed their young with milk look but 200 million years ago um, Pangea, the old continent of Pangea started dying. It started to, cr uh, to split in two pieces, the northern continent Laurasia and southern continent of Gondwana. This caused the g great changes in the, in the Earth's climate, the climate change. The world be be it began to cool. This, uh, this, fine this was an uh, arrow in Achilles' speed for a synapsids. All a synapsids except mammals went extinct. Mammals continued next for next 140 million years to uh, to live in shadows of much larger creatures that uh, creatures that uh, and those creatures were the dinosaurs.